Five and Boomtown is all about the growth we're seeing in Central Texas, and that includes the film industry. Hey, you know, some of Hollywood's biggest names are in town for South by Southwest, and the owners of several new film production companies are hoping they'll soon come back to film here. KVU's Malia Masamoto joins us now in studio with more about the film developed film studio developments in our area. Hi, Quita and Ashley. Right now, there's one studio in Dripping Springs already open, and there's two others on the way. There's one in, coming in San Marcos and one in Bastrop. And I sat down with the Bastrop studio developer on his 600-acre ranch to talk about the future of the film industry in Texas. Take a listen. Just 50 miles away from the heart of downtown Austin, one visionary sees the Lone Star State as the place to house a new Los Angeles. I didn't think uh, Atlanta could be either. But I absolutely 100% seeing a Hollywood future in Austin. Alton Butler, an Alabama native. I don't know who loves the ranch more, him or I. Moved to Los Angeles almost 30 years ago and created a successful production rental company called Line 204, attracting major players in the film industry. We do business with Netflix, Warner Brothers, Paramount, uh, Hulu, Disney. Every one of these guys have been in our studios. But now he's ready to bring those big productions to Bastrop. All these areas here, so this is the studios. Let's take a ride to see what these plans are all about. Now take a look where we're standing right here looks like an open field right now, but in 2025 it's going to have eight studios and 300,000 square feet. In addition to the $50 million first phase of studio spaces, Butler will also create immersive sets for people to stay the night. When my kin folks come from Alabama, or somebody else's kin folks come from Ohio, they now can be able to experience Hollywood. And I asked Butler, why build this in Bastrop? Why not just stay in LA? It's hard to get people to shoot there. It's 25% more money to shoot there than it is here. He says California's strenuous rules and regulations for filming Film. can create many roadblocks like, for production. Can I not just put my camera on it and let's go shoot right. something? No, you Texas. cannot. And at the root of it, he wants to build up the heartland where he started off in life. I, I'm excited to help the community and help the rural America uh, people like me to be able to give them an opportunity in life. And though he's bringing his knowledge from the California film industry, he plans to keep it Texas centric. You'll have the big barn, you'll have the, we have 30 Longhorn steers when you drive in. Oh, wow. They're right by the gate. So the Lone Star State can shine in the bright lights while staying true to itself. Now, Butler says it's take 14 months to construct the eight studios, but Line 204 will be start using them as soon as they get constructed. Emily, I know these studios will probably have a huge economic impact here as well. Yeah, that's right. They did their economic impact study, and they said $1.3 billion is going to be the economic impact. I mean, you think of all the different industries that are affected by it. It's not just the production. It's the, you know, the crews coming in, the lighting. You have even car people rentals, the food service industry. A lot of people are getting jobs in that area, so it's a lot of exciting things beyond just the film that you see there. So love it. A lot to look forward to there. Yeah, certainly will be exciting to see when it's all said and done. Yes. Thank you, Malia.